What if I told you that almost every single thing I've purchased in the past year has been to better my YouTube channel or my video and photo production? What's going on guys, Chris here, welcome to the channel. Thank you guys all for subscribing, all the subscribers who are tuning into the video right now. Thank you for the bunch of subscribers I gained because of my brother. He just had his debut game for the US men's national team and that was super exciting. We're all super proud of him and I should be seeing him very soon. So stick with me for a little bit. Hopefully I can see him during the break and we can make some videos together. My hair is going on an adventure. Okay, so investing in yourself. It's a really weird thing and a really uncomfortable thing to get into as a teenager. You have money, you collect money doing things, whether it's jobs, working for your parents, chores, even your allowance, and you wanna put it to something. You know, you wanna build something with that money. For me, what I do with my money is this stuff. That stuff right there, building my YouTube channel. I've always wanted to become a YouTuber ever since 2015. Um, and I've been taking it really seriously lately and we've been growing a lot and it's been amazing and I see the returns from my investment. Now there are different ways you can invest in yourself and I think you just first need to understand what you want to do. I've always known what I wanted to do. I've always known I, I love photography and I love videography. I just didn't know how I wanted to pursue it. Do it did I want to just be a full-time freelancer or I take jobs from clients to film weddings, short films, music videos, photo shoots, all that stuff? Or did I wanna make it more of a social media influencing business as I am doing right now? And that is kind of what I wanted to do more. So I know I needed to invest in gear, in technology, in, in knowledge to grow my social media presence. So you really need to figure out what you wanna do, whether you wanna become a singer, whether you wanna become a TikTok influencer, anything you wanna do, you have to first just figure out what that is because it's hard to invest financially into things when you don't really know what you want to do because you may end up losing a lot of money or wasting it. When I first started videography, I was mainly into the work part of it. So music videos and photo shoots for clients and the stuff I invested in, the gear I invested in was for that. I invested in a camera, one of the best cameras ever made for music videos, that was the GH5. And I used that camera a lot for tons of music videos and I built that brand, that business of mine, which was the Adamantum Productions. But after a while I realized, okay, this is not really what I wanna do. It was helpful, but this is not what I wanna do. I wanna become a YouTuber, a travel filmmaker. And that's when I started investing my money into stuff that would help me with that. So in studio lights, I have a really big, light here. This is the Godox SL60W with a huge Godox softbox and this thing is what I use to light myself and I know that to gain subscribers, to gain views, to gain uh, traction on a YouTube channel, your videos need to look professional. It is just something that people, that attracts people more, especially in my niche where quality is a huge part of it. So I invested in this big light and what it does is it gives me consistent, color accurate, balanced lighting as you see now and it looks really good. This camera, this is the Canon EOS R6, it shoots 4K, it shoots full frame, it's a expensive camera but what it does is it makes my life easier when creating videos because it has amazing autofocus and it's really easy to get a very beautiful image. So this helps me make more. One thing that really helped me was when I bought the Canon USR coming from the GH5. I wanted to get into YouTube, but with the GH5 it was difficult because I every time I had to make a video, it was a huge process of, of setting up the focus because the camera doesn't have good autofocus and still in messing with the colors because the GH5's colors out of camera were good for music videos, but not so natural for this sit down talk video like this. So the workflow was just more difficult. With the USR, it became really easy, really simple for me. And I was able to bang out videos one after the other and I saw the return in my investment. Now it wasn't a financial return, not immediately at least. Um, and I'm still catching up financially with my YouTube uh, revenue, but it was a return in, I started to gain more subscribers and more views because I was able to pump out more videos without stressing myself out. So that I considered to be a very good investment. Now, the next thing I thought was a really good investment is for audio. 
I'm shooting on the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, which is an expensive microphone from Rode, and the quality is really good. It's very bassy, and audio is even more important than video when it comes to YouTube, so having a good quality microphone was mandatory for me when wanting to invest in myself and in my YouTube channel. I've always had friends and people tell me, why don't you buy this, why don't you buy that? Because I started to make a good amount of money with my music videos and stuff, and for me, as and I was like 16, 17 years old, this money was a lot for me, because clients paid bigger budgets because the quality of my video was higher. Uh, so people ask me, why don't you get, you know, these new shoes and these, these, this new games or whatever, but I, I couldn't get myself to buy those things because they didn't really give me anything past the excitement of wanting to buy it in the first place. Here are a pair of Jordan 11s. These are about $180 to $200 sneakers. Now, with these sneakers, what do I get out of it? Well, I get a pair of white and blue sneakers that I can wear with jeans or, you know, simple outfit. But in terms of long-term happiness, I don't get much out of it. You know, they sit on my shelf, I wear them when I need, and it pretty much stays like that. But that 200 is pretty much the same price as this microphone right here, which, gave, which is giving me this great audio. So I couldn't get myself to buy more things like this. Now, granted I do, I have a shelf full of shoes. I used to buy watches and a bunch of stuff I didn't need. As of right now, spending money on things like that, just, I feel like it sets me back so much when it comes to my video production, whether it's for YouTube or for client work, that it just kind of hurts internally. So what I want you to do is look at what you love, love to do, find what you love to do, and find ways you can put your money into that niche or that passion, that hobby, whatever it is, to make it grow. Whether it's investing in better quality beats for your music, whether it's investing in higher quality paint for your paintings, these are just things coming off the top of my head, better lenses for your cameras, better quality headphones if you're trying to create beats, using that money for things like going out to expensive restaurants or paying for your Netflix subscription. If those things are the reason why you don't have enough money to invest in what you actually love, then I think you need to really consider what you're spending your money on. That moment of truth, in a way, helped me a lot when it comes to growing this YouTube channel. I have so much stuff I wanted to get, but I ended up getting camera gear instead. Like last year I got my new phone and I had like an old Samsung that was really beaten up and I got the iPhone 8 Plus. Now the iPhone 11 had just dropped and I was like, you know, I like the ultra wide camera, um, but that extra 500 bucks I saved from buying this got me that which is a Ronin S, and that is a super high quality gimbal that I can fly on this camera to get really, really stable shots. And at the end of the day, this is just a phone and it still works perfectly fine, and I'm super happy that I have that instead of the new 11, well, it's not even new anymore, uh, the 11 Pro. And that's another thing when you try to keep up with stuff like sneakers and phones and stuff that keeps dropping every year. There's always another one you want. So I hope this video helped you a little bit. I think the time is now, especially while we're in this pandemic, I really want you to look at your life, look at what you wanna do, and figure out how you can put the money you have made into that to make it grow, because a year from now, two years from now, you will see amazing results, I promise you. Let me know in the comments what your passion is. I'm curious to see uh, now that I've passed 2,000 subscribers and I'm super thankful for that, what are the things you love to do and what are the things you think you should invest in? Actually, every person who comments, I will try to reply with what I think you should invest in. That said, I really need some new hoodies. <laughs> well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Chris here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.